Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to a Fat Friday video. That's right. But you didn't think you were going to see one of these for a while. To be perfectly honest, I didn't think I was going to make one of these for a while. And obviously, something a little bit interesting, a little bit different, a little bit special. You've read the title, but obviously it's not from a junk food store. But quickly, I want to talk about these things here because McDonald's has closed its doors. You know, completely utterly closed its doors to protect its staff, which is, you know, absolutely fine. Because all these places were allowed to be open for the purpose of takeaway. And I'm assuming that, you know, sort of the small independent ones, I don't know about Burger King and stuff like that. I personally wouldn't want to go there. No disrespect for the people who run it, particularly they're self-employed and stuff like that. But, you know, uh, only go where you really, really should have to go. But uh, in the small independent ones and stuff like that, when I drive downtown at night to go to work, they're all open. Fried chicken, uh, kebab shops, uh, you know, um, uh, I, I can't think of anything else. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but they're all they're all open. And yeah, so what do you do if you get stopped by the old bill? Because the old bill have roadblocks and they are challenging people, you know, outside of you know curfew, whether they should be on the streets. It should only be essential purposes only. You can't say you're going to a supermarket at night because they're not open past eight o'clock anymore. So if these places are allowed to be open, because I'm pretty sure if they wouldn't, they'd be shut down. You know, if they're allowed to be open, then what do you say if you get pulled over by the old bill? You know, they stop you going in there. Why are you out, sir? I really fancied a kebab. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna stop you getting a 30 pound fine. Anyway, that's all by the way. You know what I'm gonna take a look at uh, because once again, I walked into that. There's a picture of it in the thumbnail and it's in the description of this video. And that's a nuts firecracker scotch egg. Did not know this was a thing. The only reason I had this is uh, we couldn't get any cheese um, from the supermarket. Well, I couldn't get any cheese from the supermarket when I left work earlier this week. Uh, some things are still being panic bought. Well, I say, you know, cheese, but I only eat a very specific type of cheese. Very, very strong um, extra mature cheddar because if it's not strong what's the point and uh, a specific brand and it wasn't there yes I know you could say you could have something else but never mind <laughs> I was feeling picky at the time so one of our friends who lives down the road uh, and we have a farm store and I don't mean farm stores you know the, the supermarket um, chain I mean farm stores as in you know they are basically a part a store you know, located to a farm that make and sell their own produce because they're still allowed to be open. So uh, a friend of the family said, I'll get you some cheese and I'll leave it in a box outside. And they also got these for me because they know I absolutely love anything. Anything that's really, really, this smells great and it's cold. I'm making my mouth water. Anything that's balls to the wall, super spicy and hot. I never knew that such a thing would be a scotch egg so yeah there you go just got check now to those people outside of the united kingdom i honestly don't know this scotch eggs in this country are kind of a staple of buffets and picnics you know uh and i guess packed lunches and basically it's a it's a hard boiled egg wrapped in sausage meat and then coated with breadcrumbs and then deep fat fried Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. But is this a thing outside of the United Kingdom? I certainly don't remember ever seeing any um, in either America or Canada. But anyway, uh, history of the Scotch egg, quite interesting. Apparently it's not in fact Scottish. If you are Scottish and it is Scottish, by all means correct me if I'm wrong. But, and I looked on Wikipedia, its first mention in a cooking book was in 1809 and they talk about it being either soft boiled, hard boiled, or soft -boiled, runny runny um i mean that's just wrong a cold runny egg and i saw some of those at christmas apparently cold runny scotch egg is a christmas meal thing i don't know and i did not have the nuts to try it but it's first uh, a, there's a department store there was a department store in london that in 1739 apparently 
claims they created it. I doubt they're around anymore and there is no sort of literature to back this up. But 1739 they created it and they created it as a snack for travellers and hikers. Which kind of makes sense if you see um, the fact that it's it's become a picnic food, I guess. Or, you know, um, become a buffet food. I don't know, picnic food more so, I guess. But anyway, I've waffled long enough. Did not know. There was such a thing as a spicy or chilli uh, scotch egg. It's funny though, because if you look at the instructions, it just says garlic powder and uh, it's gluten free. Garlic powder and buckram ale, which is a local ale. So they've used that in here, which is kind of cool. Makes sense. We are the region of buckram ale and it is a farm store. It's cold and it smells so nice. Look at that. And it's a sizable scotch egg. Actually, before we begin, <clears throat> I'm still on the, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still on the clear fizzy drinks. I'll save that until I know how hot it is. Or maybe it's not hot. And this whole thing is going to be a complete and utter letdown. Right, so let's cut into it. Pretty firm. That's what she said. Looks, looks absolutely just like a standard scotch egg. So yeah, let's, let's give it, let's give it a whiff. It smells really nice, but I can't smell anything hot in it. Should I take a bite and then um, mix it up? You know, break it down. Sorry, it really is making my mouth water. Wise man once said, <clears throat> two tears in a bucket, fuck it, points for that quote. Rookie mistake. I was going to say, that's not hot. It tastes really, really nice. I can taste cheddar cheese in it as well. And I'm like, but, yeah, I'm like, that's not hot. That's not hot. Then it hits the back of your throat. That's hot. That's pretty, that's pretty fucking spicy. A spicy, don't wipe your eye, Dave. You've done that before. Rookie mistake. That's pretty fucking spicy. <coughs> A spicy scotch egg. Oh, it's the devil's work. Whoa. Now, he's going back in. We're going to take a piece of... Now, oh, fuck it, we're going to have a whole bite. Yes, do you know what? As is hot, is some curry I've had. Seriously. Well, actually, no, because it's not red face hot. I am aware of it in my throat right now. See, it's so nice, because it's really cheesy. I don't even know there was cheese in the ingredients. I can't explain. This is a really nice, mature cheddar taste to it. The um, uh, the, the battering is, um, or the breadcrumbs is really nice, like, I would say it's baked, not fried. And then it goes again. You're like, where is it? Where is it? Where's the heat? Where's the heat? Look. Where's the heat? Where's the heat? And then it just rolls out the back of your throat. Whew. But... That is, it's so, it's a shame, because I don't know if you're going to get these anywhere else, this is a local sort of West Country thing, but honest to God though, this is, this is fantastic, I'm so glad I've discovered this, would I say life changing? Yes I would! It's incredible because it's just like really strong taste, really, really nice taste. And then all of a sudden here it comes, uh, just a wave of fire on the back of your throat. Oh, I'll try not to drool. It's not a good look, is it? These things are absolutely fantastic. Let's take the egg out. I'm going to assume that the egg doesn't have the herb. No, whatever it is, that's, I'm going to say that's chili flakes or something. I don't know if you can see it. It would appear that the spice, for whatever it is in the heat, again, it doesn't say on the label, is in that. Let's find out. Yep. <coughs> That's where it is. Um, 
and also the really strong cheddar taste. I don't even know if it's cheese. Oh. Oh. I got another three of these bad boys to go through. Obviously not in one sitting. Let's try the egg. <coughs> oh, fuck it. Let's not pussyfoot around. No, the egg's just egg. It's all, which to be honest, makes sense because you're going to boil it anyway, aren't you? It's all in this. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> that wasn't my smartest um, move. Oof. Yeah, it's all in the breadcrumbs and the sausage meat, which again makes perfect sense. Do you know what? Um, it's a shame. I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend these. Um, I don't know if they're a West Country thing only. I don't know if they're made anywhere. Someone else must make these. Someone must at some point thought, do you know what? Excuse me, Wendy Pops. No, that's not what they thought. Do you know what? Why doesn't the world have a fucking red hot scotch egg? All I can say is it's hot. It's not unbearable, but it's pretty fucking hot. But it's absolutely fantastic and so delicious. The nuts firecracker scotch egg. Two thumbs up. No idea why I did that. <coughs> Anyway, stay safe, everyone, and thank you very much for watching. Have you had one of these? Is it local to where you live? Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Whew.